Hey everyone, Paul DC, and this video I felt like I should do it. I wasn't making videos lately, but here's the thing. I want to discuss today uh, that it is okay to not knowing how you feel about yourself or something or someone at every single time. At least, perhaps I'm biased, you let me know. <clears throat> I always felt like this kind of social pressure, not, not only on myself, but or over other people as well, that you should be swift and quick to make up your mind on everything that happens to you right on the spot. You are seen as weak or doubtful if you take some time to assess something what happened, or you're quickly pushed without thinking to put a label onto something that took place. That labels of often are, uh, this is good for me, this is bad for me, I want to be around this person, I don't want to be around this person, this was positive, this was negative, and sometimes the beautiful things in life do not even fit in these pre-made categories. Yet still, there's like this pressure, more so in business, in the corporate world where you have to sentence and judge everything right on the spot. And often that uh, pushes you if you haven't made up your mind on a particular event that uh, took place in your life. If you haven't fully processed that, you may very well don't know how you feel and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. It is in fact healthy. One thing is to uh, negate things, try to bury them deep in the ground and try to pretend they haven't occurred. But another very different thing is to accept these things, whatever they may be, to accept they happened to you, that they appeared in your life, and then just clear your mind so you can actually become aware of how you feel about these things. And I started to think about this video because something took place in my own life. In all my efforts of trying to promote my, my spirituality book, I got so fed up with uh, running ads or doing organic promotions and all that sort of thing because I felt like it was super synthetic. It, wasn't aligned with what I feel in my heart. So what I started doing uh, one or two months ago is that whenever I came across someone that was struggling, whether it was in real life or through social media, I sent them a book for free. Not even with the intention of promoting the book, just to get the message out there without asking for anything in return, just sending the book so it can be of help to them. If in one of these uh, efforts, I also try to reach out to independently owned libraries uh, and bookstores and bookshops in the US and Canada uh, to see if they wanted to put my book out there. And well, doing all this research, I came across with, a, I think it's a foundation, it's a proper uh, foundation uh, that has an .org org org site and they help youngsters in distress in struggle with a tough background tough upbringings so i said well um my book the way of awareness uh, it it can very well change lives i'm super convinced on that and i couldn't think of anything more beautiful of someone delving into spiritual readings or spiritual teachings when they are young and when they are going through um, the teenage years in a tough environment because it can be more transformative and if the person evolves at a young stage they have a whole mo lot more lifespan usually that's what one would expect to uh, keep perhaps evolving at a faster rate or, or taking more advantage and appreciating life, just learning to be. So 
I contacted this, uh, this foundation. I told them that I wanted to donate a couple of books so they can fall into the hands of youngsters, uh, so they can read it, pass it along or whatever. And when I did this, a couple of weeks later, I found out that the foundation was reselling my books on Amazon. And at first, I didn't know how I feel. I felt a little bit betrayed, a little bit disappointed, a little bit sad because I realized that the books were not going to fall in the hands of people I thought would benefit from them. And they didn't even have the choice to choose to read or not read the book. And then I said, well, quickly, the egoic mind tries to make you angry, to make you upset, to judge people, uh, to judge their actions, their thinking, and ultimately to put a label saying they are bad, they are a piece of ass, they are good, they are uh, great people or whatever. So I had to meditate really hard and try to search within myself really hard to not fall into this egoic uh, trap. Yet still, later, I realized that even though this happened, I do believe in awareness because I write about it, I have experienced it, I've made it the cornerstone of my life, of my everyday life. So I realized that through these mysterious ways that life has, these five books will end up uh, arriving at the right destination no matter what. Yet still, I didn't know how I feel about this, about donating something to someone and then seeing it being resold online. And that's fine. And I have to just learn how to be. I don't have to put a label onto anything to go on with my life. And if you cannot put a label onto something, you don't have to get stuck on it, right? Yes, you can record the feeling because that's what life is about. That's real life, your experience, your feeling. But then you just have to accept and let go. So I thought this was a beautiful um, thing to take advantage from and make a learning out of it, if you will. So we, that said, that's pretty much today's video. I don't know if I'm going to make another video. And for those interested, this is my book, The Way of Awareness, available on Amazon. Links here below. And don't get confused. The cover change is no longer blue and orange. It is now full black, full black with white letters. So it's still the exact same book. Love you all and see you in the next one.